my chicken tendies. It's nothing that a hundred max or more couldn't do. We got a trio of Frozens, including the big O, today on Box Mac. Uh, so we're ready for the show? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this one's frozen. This is not, this is refrigerated. Refrigerated. Refrigerated? I didn't know that, Nina. That's why I couldn't find <laughs> it. So, so there was a bit of a story here, right? John is normally put in charge of prepping the at least the food portion of the show. He lives about two miles from a grocery <laughs> store that he has to drive by every day to even leave our town. I you did. may remember the ghee butter incident. I looked around at a couple places, I couldn't find it. He came back with his tail between his legs, he's like, I can't find any ghee butter. <laughs> And I went to the supermarket literally next door. Let me just tell you, I thought this was a Frozen because my father gave me one. He had tried it, he didn't like it. And he gave, that happens with food a lot. It comes to me. If, and I thought it was a Frozen, so I stuck it in the freezer. Nina was at Lee's shopping for something the other day and texted it to me and goes, is this what he's looking for? I was not looking for I'm this. It just stood out and I said, oh, Oprah, man. Yeah. Oh. Let's just put an A in charge. <laughs> <laughs> but All the right. price is right on it, so we know. $6. It's exorbitantly I mean, priced. I know very little about Oprah besides her, you know, Proud to be a woman. Do you know about Stedman? Do you know about oh, her best friend, Kurt. Gail? Look at it. It looks sad. It looks wet. It looks like when you make paste as a child with flour and water. I remember making paste with popsicle sticks. <laughs> so this is a, um, this Mac features butternut squash. And I don't know if you can really say anything features butternut squash. Well, her whole thing is that she's making these com <laughs> comfort foods, but she's making them healthier and slightly more nutritious. Like she makes mashed potatoes that have cauliflower mixed in. They have another one with bean. I don't know which one's more offensive to the palate. I've always loved nutritious, flavorful foods. What's the twist in our what creamy three cheese pasta? We've replaced some of the cheese, which is what you want, right? Yeah. With a velvety butternut squash puree, like my child eats. My nine month old baby. Increase the number of veggies while keeping all of the rich cheesy flavor in every bite. But how do you keep all the cheesy flavor? You just said you decreased the cheesy flavor to add butter and squash. Can I make one more comment that she paid extra for the hand pose on her high school photo? Explain what you're talking about. Did she ever take the high school photos and they charged you extra if you wanted to put your hand up? <laughs> <laughs> really? Put that down, that's extra. Why would a hand pose make you look better anyway? It would just make you look douchier. <laughs> she can afford it. She's looking quite svelte nowadays. Didn't she used to be a lady of some medium size? One of the major things I know about Oprah is she she's fat, she's not. She's fat, she's not. She's found the key to being thin, she's lost the key to being thin. All I know about Oprah is that gift of her unveiling bees. Have you seen that? No. It's like, you know, her doing like her like, yeah. You get a and car. It's and you... bees. <laughs> bees are coming! Bees are There's another one that always sticks out in my mind, which is the couch one. Tom Cruise. <laughs> These are Oprah's greatest hits. Oprah's greatest hits aren't even her hits. They're bees and <laughs> Scientology. There's still in my brain a very small amount of confusion between Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is a lot more intensely political. She's somehow more political when Oprah was the one that was probably gonna be running for president. It smells like a rotten Halloween pumpkin, like like a couple days after you've carved your jack o' lantern. Why don't we talk about these? All right. This is a Wicked Kitchen mac and cheese with Hatch chili. And this one's one with chorizo, not to be confused with chorizo. Pasta rigatti with roasted Hatch chili peppers and caramelized onions and a spicy cheddar cheese sauce. Custom cheese sauce. Eat right out of the box. Don't destroy the box. Oh, don't pour the mac here. Here, keep it in the bag. I'm glad they were doing that because I was just about to do that. So you cook it in the bag? It's a cooking bag, I guess. Do you want to keep your Mac in the bag? Or did you want me to hang on to it? I'll hang on to it. Did you want me to put the key in the bag? Or did you just want to hang on to it? I'll hang on to it. By the way, these are $4.49 a piece. So big bucks. Be careful, it's hot. They look like um, microwave popcorn. popcorn bags. So we've got something that has branding that's wicked which is very Massachusetts. Yes. And yet it's made in Chicago. But it's all over the place. Massachusetts just thinks it's Massachusetts and then you talk to other people from Australia who are like, we say wicked too. And you guys say wicked as well, right? Yeah. There's been the phrase in forever around in Massachusetts, like if you don't like the weather, just wait 20 minutes, it'll change. Big fan of that phrase, I like it a lot. Why? I don't know, it just kind of appeals to me as a New Englander. Because John wants to check the weather every 20 minutes, yes. so it justifies. You should see, you know, it, it, like the Amazon Echo gives you a list of all the things you've asked and like, 
weather is like 20 times a day. What do you think's happening from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. that something drastic has happened, like a tornado nothing, warning? Nothing suddenly. at all. Yeah. What? Yeah. I had a coworker a number of years ago who ruined it for me by saying, oh, but they say that everywhere. Do they you say bubbler coworker? everywhere? No, Nina. Do they say cabinet everywhere? Coffee okay. cab. Coffee cab. Look it up, folks. It's also having ice cream in a box. They're like, would you like that on a cone or in a box? And by a box, they mean a cup. Well, because it used to be the folded cardboard. So how you cook this, you take this thing and you throw it in there and then you close it. That's what it says. Throw. Guess what's ready for us? You get a Mac. Do you guys remember when Oprah came on TV? 4 p.m.? A lot of years at 4 p.m. Yes. My mom watched it religiously. Yep. Oprah might as well have been a close friend. Yeah. on today at four, right here on Channel 7. Four o'clock was perfect because it was before my dad got home. Yep. So all the girl time could happen. Oh. I think this was happening in households across the country. Yeah. Mom got home from picking up the kids. Yeah. She sat them down with a snack. She said, do your damn homework. Yep. She had her little Oprah time before dad got home. As if dad's gonna like break up Oprah time. Ellen is the same thing now though. That way they can all dance in their khakis. Yes. With bees? <laughs> do we just go, go right in? Yeah, I'm not gonna waste plates on this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it's terrible. Oh yeah, it's really bad. Um, Does it taste like it smells? <laughs> it's horrible. Okay, so a couple of things, Oprah. The pasta is outrageously bad. Is there a stick to the pasta? Is the pasta whole grain? The texture of the pasta is butternut squash texture. It's water, wheat semolina, whole durum wheat flour, egg, niacin, ferrous sulfate. Yes, that's the problem. What they did is they cooked the pasta and then they added a big preservative to it which holds cooked pasta. Oh. Do you remember pasta. those pasta any times? Yes, that's what is that, it is. It's like that, okay. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna say the cheese flavor is actually not that bad. No, it's not, but the squash flavor after that. Yeah. Something about the texture of that pasta, when it goes in my teeth, it feels like I'm chomping down on like a carrot or something. But it's still yes. like 750 calories for that whole thing. Yeah, how healthy. It's you can have Stouffer's which is 20 calories more. Awesome. It's very wrong, it's very rubbery. Tell me about it. <laughs> Just a little bit of classy mom cleave. You're a 70 year old woman. <laughs> is she really? Echo, how old is Oprah? Oprah Winfrey is 64 years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Six dollars to go right in the trash. Yeah. Six bucks. Bob Evans was way better. Oh my God. If you put ketchup on it, will Zach eat it? Wait, look at this. Three the, cheese. The third cheese is buttered as squash. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually two cheese, Oprah. It's two cheese. There's a little purple speech bubble coming out of the butternut squash that says, here's the twist. Well, the pasta is the twist, like it's an crap. M an M. Night Shyamalan M. style Night twist. <laughs> what a twist. EJ? So, I, you, I want to try it. When we were having trouble finding this, did you buy some of this as well, EJ? Is your poor son gonna be made to eat this because he doesn't know any better? <laughs> what does EJ think? Yeah, the texture's too weird. Not a strange bite. That's the so cheese hard. sauce isn't right. terrible. But right. well, give it a second and the squash will hit you. <laughs> <laughs> there is residual squash, but squash has never bothered me none. Yeah. The squash doesn't bother me anyway. Okay, here's our popcorn's all done. <laughs> it smells good. It does have a good smell. All right, let's open it up. And you open it just like a popcorn bag. You get very little, by the way. EJ, come take a look at this. Oh my gosh. For $5? That? Well, that makes sense why these are 400 calories. 10 noodles a package. Sure. It is kind of taco-esque. It's pretty spicy. It doesn't taste like much cheese at it all. It tastes like spicy beef and mm -hmm. not like cheese. It's so, like, kind of like the taccaroni, but much spicier and with no cheese flavor. And not enough salt and seasoning. Like, Whew. it's spicy. Obvious spice? It's too spicy. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Guajillo chilies are prized for their intense red color, dynamic heat, slight smokiness, and earthiness. They bring a depth of flavor and color that few chilies can. This iconic green chili grown in the Hatch region of New Mexico is celebrated for its subtle sweetness, smokiness, okay. and lasting heat. So I think actually this is the spicy but one. But this is gonna stick around in your butt. You're gonna poop out heat. Oh, poop and heat. You ever have that problem happen? Where well, you eat something really spicy, the next day you get a poop heat? They're making a real big deal about telling you the ingredients. <laughs> roasted hatch chili peppers, roasted Anaheim chili pepper puree, roasted poblano chili pepper puree. Ooh. Look at that Oprah Mac just sitting there. Unattended to. Unappealing. <laughs> This is why Stedman won't marry it. Be careful, Down the don't middle. burn your precious. I'm gonna have to pee. Oh, I see. Ah, it's hot, the fucking thing. Burn my precious. Frankie's taking a piss mid episode. I've listened to Frankie pee enough episode. times, I don't need to listen to it again. Dina, does this happen with women where you go into the bathroom and the women start talking to each other while you're in the stove? Nope. 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 The That's only thing true. you do is hear women talking to their kids, I being like, you've got to try. You've got to try to squeeze it out. I know you don't have to, you gotta try. It's a big problem in men's rooms. You'll be walking in, they'll start a conversation with you, expect you to continue to respond from the stall. With your is out. Not acceptable. Unacceptable. 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 Like right now, I can't have a conversation with Frankie. Frankie, how you doing in there? Why'd you lock the door?
In case you came in. How do I get <laughs> I'm out? I'm not going to help you. How do I get out? There we go. On the topic of talking to men's rooms. <laughs> yes. It tends to be older men. Yes, it does. They'll go right up to the urinal and go, how's it going? Oh, we should talk about that. And the, did you see my email? And yeah, it's, it's madness. And how was your weekend? It's got a lot of onion in it, a lot of vegetables. Green pepper. Well, it tastes like what it tastes like. It's completely as advertised. Do you like spicy green peppers? Do yep. you like onions? Yep. That's what this tastes like. Yeah. So why'd they put the cheese in there? They could have just done without the cheese and it would have been perfectly fine for Nina. And also, it, it really needs salt very badly. Would salt have helped the Oprah one? No. No, nothing. It's the there pasta was, texture. There was a, a deep problem with the Oprah one. <laughs> Look, I thought that these were going to be pretty good and they're not. After this batch, I mean, it can't get any worse, right? Oh, but it can because there's an Eve all around the corner. See you that time on Box Mac. Hey everybody, it's me, EJ Massa. So here's the uh, other Oprah Mac I actually forgot to bring to the Box Mac, so I'm gonna try it right now and tell you how it is so that we don't have to include it on another episode and waste your, waste your damn time. Creamy Parmesan pasta with a twist of white bean. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited for Oprah to, to come out of the microwave. It actually looks pretty good and it smells like it has a a Parmesan garlic Alfredo-y smell, but I have a feeling it's gonna have the same problem as the other one where the texture is gonna be garbage. Yep, and it's actually flavorless too. So this one has less flavor than the butternut squash one, and the texture is exactly the same. That weird mealy, it breaks apart easily, not very appetizing. Don't recommend it. If you, for some like demented reason, you wanted to pick between these two Oprah Macs, I'd pick the butternut squash spiral one. Bye. Four o'clock. Where's everyone going? I know. Oprah's on.